Hey guys, Dcat here with another YouTube video, and today, you know, I'm not going to be doing what I normally do. I'm not uh, playing any games. I'm not uploading. Well, yeah, I'm not playing any games. No hockey question mark today. Um, I'm not working on uh, Pokey Falls yet again. I will be. By the way, I will be posting an update video to Pokey Falls in the upcoming week. Sometime in the upcoming week, I've gotten a lot done, although I still have a lot more I need to do, and dang, if, if anyone out there knows how to import a sprite to uh, uh, advanced maps, please let me know. If you guys don't know what advanced map is, it is a Pokemon ROM hacking uh, software to help, you, uh, to help ROM hackers uh, make, build a map. So, if you know how to do that, please, please, please get in contact with me. I really need help with that. But, for now, that's not what we're working on. We're, but we are doing another Gravity Falls video. Now, we're not doing an, a uh, Decats reaction or anything like that. Today, I'm going to be actually reading a fanfiction I wrote myself. It's called uh, Escape to Gravity Falls. Uh, it's an ongoing series. I'm only I'm only recording the chapter one. So guys, if you enjoyed, uh, you can uh, I'll uh, post the link to the next chapter in the description. Or if I just suck at reading and you guys uh, want to read the chapter on your own, the link to that will be in the description. Uh, this is Escape to Gravity Falls. It is my very first fan fiction story I've ever written, and. It's so far, I started writing it in, uh, ooh, when did I start writing this? You know, I don't even remember. It was during the summer sometime, sometime during the summer. <laughs> oh boy, long story short, I started writing this, people loved it, I got so much positive feedback from it. People messaging over Twitter, Twitch, uh, people reviewing I've yet to get one negative comment and I'm hesitate saying that but I mean review I should say over fanfiction.net uh, I hesitate I hesitate I hesitate to say that because I know now that I've said it someone will do just give a negative feedback negative comment just because of that but Heck, I've said it a few times already in the fanfiction and at the end of it and still nothing so Let's uh, get started. I think that I think we should better get started. Uh, so far, yeah. How do I pre? Not a preview. So chapter one. This is Escape to Gravity Falls by Decat Six Eight Two. When war comes to the United States, Dipper and Mabel Pines are sent to the mysterious town of Gravity Falls to escape from the fighting. Hey guys, Dcat here with something different than usual. Instead of a live stream, I've decided to try something new. I've always enjoyed writing in class, so I wanted to try writing a story. Well, here we go with the, with my first one. Enjoy the first chapter of Gra Escape to Gravity Falls, and I'll see you at the end. Do we have to go? Can't you just let Mom and Dad know that we'd rather stay here for the year? Mabel tried to convince her their great uncle Stan. No, no. You know perfectly well they'd never allow it. Besides, you you have school and lives outside Gravity Falls to live. The gravelly voice of Stan replied. But, come on, Mabel. We knew we'd have to leave eventually. Dipper, Mabel's twin brother, cut her off. Don't worry. You're still invited. Don't worry. You're still invited back next year. That is, if you still want to be around this dump, Stan said. We'll never forget you, Mabel blurted out. Don't say that. You, may, you make it sound like we'd never see Gr Grunkle Stan again, Dipper chided. Goodbye, you little gremlins, Grunkle Stan said after receiving a warning, la a warning glance from the bus driver, which said loud and clearly that the bus was about to leave with or without them. Goodbye, Grunkle Stan, 
the twins called out, cried out in unison, throwing themselves on their great uncle in a big hug. Now, now, we don't need that. Here, I'll call your parents before you get you even get back home and and plan another trip for you. Thank you for everything, Uncle Sam. The twins cried. A honk came from the bus behind them. Don't want to miss the bus. Remember, don't get off the bus until your parents climb on to get you. Okay, Dipper said. And don't and don't talk to strangers. Never know what they do. They might bring a ladder up to you or something. Uncle Stan added as an afterthought as the twin climbs onto bus F4115. The bus slowly left the station and began to pick up speed. The twins sat in the very back of the empty bus watching Seuss, Stan, Wendy, Grenda, Candy, and even Pacifica until the bus turned a corner and they were gone. That day was August 5th, 2012. Grunkle Stan kept his promise. As soon as the twins had gone, he went to the nearest payphone and called their parents and invited the twins for another year. However, the twins' parents declined his invitation. Both Dipper and Mabel were woke. Both Dipper and Mabel were awoken in the middle of the night on the 23rd of December, 2012. They weren't awoken by thoughts of Christmas or of the gifts they were going to be receiving in mere hours. Dipper was the first to open his eyes. Dipper! Mabel! Grab anything you might need and hurry! No, don't turn on the lights! Dipper stopped his hand already fumbling around his bedstand looking for the lamp. You're going to be spending the next couple days with your great uncle in Gravity Falls. Siren suddenly flare their lot. Siren suddenly flared alive. Quick, under your beds, now! Mrs. Spine screamed. Before Dipper or Mabel could react, one pair of hands had grabbed them and tossed them underneath their beds. What's going on? Grape Mabel shouted. No one answered. Mom? Dad? Shush, Mabel. They must be attacking, Dipper said. Who's attacking? Mabel asked. Honestly, don't you even watch? ever watch the news? They've only been threatening war for the past year and a half. Only dum-dums watch the news. Both of you, be quiet! Mr. Pine snapped. The roar of airplanes flew low, just above the apartment buildings. Nobody moved for several minutes, even after the roar of airplanes had passed. Okay, now, now grab what you need and meet us downstairs. You have five minutes to grab what you need. Anything not packed will, by then will be left behind. Miss, Mrs. Pines ordered and left the room shortly, followed by Mr. Pines. Working in the dark, Dipper managed to find a new pair. Um, a pa little. Working in the dark, Dipper managed to find a few pairs of clothes in, and his journal. No what? No way would I ever go to Gravity Falls without the journal. He thought. Dipper also threw in some blank books. Mabel. You have everything? He called across the room. My suitcase won't close, Mabel replied, sitting on his suitcase, which was stuffed so full, stuffed with sweaters. Blah. Which was so stuffed with sweaters, the suitcase was open, an entire foot higher than it should. Mabel, you can't bring all your sweaters. If we're at war, we need to leave. We're too close to the border where we, where we are right now. We can't sit around waiting for you to... I'm not going anywhere without my sweaters, Mabel snapped. But Mabel, it's not going to... Not going anywhere. Fine, Dipper sighed. Here, I have some extra space in my suitcase. Toss them over here so, so I can... Dipper was suddenly hit in the face by a ball of sweaters. What? The sweater ball had hit Dipper right on the face, knocking him flat on his back. Dipper! It worked! I can close it now! Mabel squealed in delight at not having to part with a single sweater. Dipper quickly folded the sweater ball and stuffed them in into his case. Come on, our five minutes must be up by now. We don't want to keep Mom waiting, Dipper said, yanking his case through the door of their room. Glancing over the balcony, which showed both the family room and the kitchen of the apartment. His parents were waiting by the front door. 
Dipper quickly yanked his case over the spiral staircase at the end of the hall and climbed down the staircase shortly followed by his sister. Dipper! Make- wait. Dipper, make sure you don't lose these. Mrs. Pine uh, said handing Dipper two bus tickets for Gravity Falls, Oregon. Wait, aren't you aren't you and Dad coming? Dipper asked suddenly, suspicious. We can't just we can't join you there this time. Maybe next time. We have work we need to think about. That's what you said last time. Dipper said annoyed. Gravity Falls had been fun last time, but nobody believed him when he told them about his adventures. If only they'd come. Then they'd know, Dipper said under his breath. They were in his parents' car, car, an old Ford Taurus from 2000. You're being a doofus, Mabel said, poking her brother in the arm. Ow! Dipper yelped in pain. Remember, remember what Grunkle Stanford said? Blah. Remember what Grunkle Stanford said? We're not allowed to tell others. Yes, yes. I know what he said. Now don't bring him up, Dipper replied. A memory of, greet of meeting their grunkle and then shortly losing him during the summer had been very painful. The worst part of it was that he, Dipper, had caused it. Mabel looked at Dipper with concern. Mm. You know, it's not your fault, she said. What happened, I mean? We were up against Bill. Anything could have happened. The ride to the depot was anything but pleasant. The planes hadn't just flown over the city like the Pines had originally thought. Smoke billowed out of the windows of countless buildings as they passed. Rubble was all that remained of the city hall, and other buildings had their, all their glass blown out. People had taken to the streets, sometimes pulling at people out from underneath rubbles, other times stuff out of destroy, t other times taking stuff out of destroyed stores. Mom, what's happening? I'm scared, Mabel asked from the back. Don't worry, honey. Your father knows what he's doing, she said. I don't think we should be out here, Dipper said after uh, seeing what appeared to be a half-dressed man pulling a woman out of a gas station and into an alley on the side. Don't worry, you'll be fine, Mr. Pines assured. Just don't talk to anyone on the bus, he added as an afterthought. The car continued on silently. Sometimes Mabel would let out a sob, only to be consoled by Dipper. Both of their parents wouldn't. Both of their parents wouldn't say a word. Their word had been dis Their world had been destroyed in a matter of hours. Nobody spoke until the car slid to a stop at at the bus depot, where bus F4115 was already waiting. Remember, don't get off the bus until you see Gravity Falls. Your great uncle should be waiting when you arrive, Mr. Pines dictate, uh, directed. Mabel and Dipper climbed out of the car and up onto F4115. Tickets? A raspy voice asked nonchalantly. Dipper handed the driver the tickets who quickly snapped a hole through them with a hole puncher. Dipper and Mabel sat at, at the back of the bunch, the bus and watched as the city burnt down as, their, as they escaped to safety. In all honesty, guys, I never planned to put Dipper or Mabel through any of this, I mean, of, the, of the mental stress, which I did. I just started writing and the story kind of took shape. Well, I'm now in your position. How will they react to the loss once the shock wears off? Who is attacking? And most importantly, why is Mabel sitting in the corner of my bedroom, glaring between me and my pocket knife? This is Dcat, signing off till next chapter. Okay, guys, that was chapter one. That was, if I remember correctly, that was, yeah, actually, yeah, that is one of the shorter chapters. Uh, the other chapters are, just keep getting better from here, guys. I, uh, get, I started writing and, uh, picking up on, I started, I, mean, I also started reading other, uh, writers, fan fiction writers, picking up on what they're doing, which I, for some things they do that I really enjoy. And the comments just keep getting better and better. I mean, the reviews, I I don't know. You guys just blow me out of the water. Uh, things keep getting uh, more and more serious and, and as we go. And uh, 
we're currently up to chapter 9. So, I, I'll be uploading that chapter to you as soon as I can. But guys, that is it for now. Uh, remember, once again, read the description. Uh, if you liked, if you uh, enjoyed, please like or subscribe. If you did not enjoy, then either dislike or ignore this video. Also, uh, please comment if you can. Uh, every comment helps. Uh, if you don't like it, please help me along, give me constructive criticism, all that type of stuff. It really helps. If you enjoyed, then tell me what part of the chapter you like. And uh, remember, guys, in the description, I will be uh, giving, I'm, I will be linking the uh, story, I mean, Escape to Gravity Falls, so you can read it on fanfiction.net. Also, if I get enough positive feedback and you guys are asking for uh, another video of uh, me reading Escape to Gravity Falls, please let me know and I could uh, write, I mean, I could read chapter 2 and 3 and continue on and so, so on forth and so, so on, so, so on and so forth until I'm out of chapters, in which case, well, I'm already writing, so we, that would, when, well, yeah, I'll just keep on writing. I'll just keep on writing and keep on reading. But guys, that is it for now. This is the cat signing off. Night.